Hi everyone, it's Mrs. R, your co-video substitute teacher. Today I'm going to talk about butterflies. Now, I was really lucky a few years ago to be a teacher's aide in a room with a teacher who was amazing all the time, but particularly loved science. And we had a parent donate this really cool kit that you can buy online that are butterfly grow kits. And you can buy these. And they come with uh, little pieces you put together to make the actual sort of like environment they grow in and, and food for the caterpillar. And then the caterpillar grows into a butterfly and then you can take it outside and release the butterfly. And I got to do that in the classroom. That was really cool. So I'm really super sad that I'm not in a classroom doing this because we're not in school right now. And maybe you can afford to buy one of those butterfly kits. That's really cool. If you can, totally do that. It's awesome. But I can't, okay? So instead, I've got my little butterfly earrings and my garden bug necklace. Look, see, it has little bugs. It's made out of what's called chain mail. They used to make armor out of that. Isn't that cool? You'd have a whole suit of this and it would be armor. Uh, but mine just has little bugs on it. So... I am wearing these so that we can read where butterflies grow. This is part of the Imagination Library. This is, depending on where you live, you might be able to get these books for free. And so it's possible you actually own this book. If you do, sit down and read it and kind of look through it and really think about it. But I'm going to read some of it to you today. Here we go. This is a growing place, green and warm and bright. Lift up a leaf and you may find someone ready to be born. Lift, lift up a leaf and imagine. So they're looking. Look, they're, they're in a garden here. Imagine you are someone small, hidden in a tiny egg, growing bigger, growing darker, till one hot morning you burst your shell and creep into brightness. And it's showing us some close-up pictures of how there might be things underneath the leaves. Now these are just little eggs, and look, out of this egg, it is hatched, and a little caterpillar has crawled out, okay? Here is our caterpillar. He's much bigger now. Imagine you are a creeper, thin and dark, living on a long, lacy leaf. When the wind tickles the leaf, you and your world shake. So he's, he's getting out there, and he's eating, and he's learning things. His little caterpillar life. But you have feet. Two rows of creeper feet that hold on tight and keep you safe. Like a tiny acrobat, you creep, balancing and dangling high above the earth below. If you're in my co-video substitute group, I actually posted pictures of these that are growing out where I am. These are uh, flocks, woodland flocks. You can see some other flowers. Uh, this looks like maybe Queen Anne's Lace and Brown Eyed Susan. And here we have a little bunny. But in there... Our caterpillar is hiding. And just like it's hard to find him in this picture, it's very hard to find them in real life, too. As you move, your soft, long body ripples, flowing, flowing slowly along green stems. You climb up the stems to eat the leaves. As you grow, you climb higher and higher where flowers spread like umbrellas. You nibble and eat the tiny white flowers. You eat and eat your skin feels tight. They're getting so big that their skin doesn't feel like it's the right size. Here's our picture. Underneath, you have new bigger skin to grow into. You swallow air, puffing up and up, so your tight skin splits. Oh my gosh, as humans, that would be the worst thing. I mean, if our skin just split. But for them, look, it's normal. They get out of this skin. Snakes do the same thing. They shed skin. Old and wrinkled, it falls away like cast-off clothes. Look at you now in a striped suit. So look, it's, it's completely changed its coloring. It doesn't look like it used to look. In this sunny place, you eat and rest and grow. But others are growing too. You feel one coming close and you rear up. Orange horns pop out of your head. A strong scent puffs into the air. You look so fierce. The hungry one darts away, hoping to find a better tasting meal. This means that some caterpillars, look how he looks at these little horns. And the bird is like, 
I was really hungry, and now you look super scary, and I don't know that I want to deal with that. It's a defense mechanism. You grow and grow, fat and full of flowers, until one day you stop looking for food. If you have one of those kits, and you put food in it like I was talking about, eventually they stop eating the food. They'll eat almost all of it first, though. You creep along the ground, moving as fast as you can, hunting for some place tall and firm. You climb up a bare brown branch and make a silken sling to rest in. I bet a lot of you already know this. This caterpillar is going to turn into something different, isn't it? And it does something first, and we have pictures of that. Look at the pictures as it keeps changing into that silken sling it talked about. Then you crawl and stretch, excuse me, then you curl and stretch till your old skin splits loose. You wiggle, shaking your striped skin down and down till it falls away. No longer a creeper, you rest. Look, it's made something special, a little home to live in. It's not a caterpillar anymore. It's changing. In this green and growing place, you are hidden, hard to see or find, Resting through the long, warm days. Hungry ones come near, but you are safe, looking like a small brown twig. Hidden inside, you are changing. Growing new long legs, growing new wide wings, covered with skiny, tiny scales of color. There's lots of other animals in this. Look, that's a skunk, and a squirrel, and a cardinal bird. Oh, here is a caterpillar. I don't know if you can see it. Look how hard he is to spot. He just looks like part of this stuff. That's why, by the way, if you go outside, you're not likely to find these because they're really hard to find. But that keeps them hidden from the things that want to eat them. You crawl out wet, crumpled, new is our picture. You dangle high on long legs and hang on tight. Your four wings slowly unfold, growing larger growing brighter, full of bold colors. Oh, I think we all know what has happened to our caterpillar now, hasn't it? It's grown into a butterfly. You wait, moving your wings, drying them, feeling them, grow stronger and harder till a warm wind tickles you. Spreading your wings wide, you let go and fly higher and higher. You drift above the flowers, light and fragile like them. You touch nothing but sky, flying far above the ground. Then you fly low from bright flower to bright flower, landing gently on the soft petals, tasting sweetness with your feet. Isn't that a fun way to taste? They taste with their feet. Tasting sweetness with your feet. You sip the sweet nectar, through your long curled tongue. Do you see how their tongue is a little curl and it stretches out? They taste the flowers. You soar over the bare branch where you rested, far above the growing place where you crept from leaf to leaf and flower to flower these long summer days. You have grown and changed and your world has grown too. Because now you don't have to crawl every place. You can fly there, right? Now it's time to fly to, to new places. Time to look for others like yourself. Bright flyers in the sun. Fly, butterfly. Goodbye. So, what we've learned from this is something you probably already knew. That we have caterpillars that turn into butterflies. I have never found what we call a chrysalis or a cocoon. I've never once found one in the wild for a butterfly. They're out there. I know they're out there because I see caterpillars and I do see butterflies, but I've never found the middle part. If you buy one of those science kits, you get to watch it happen. If, if you're lucky, maybe they all turn into one. Sometimes, sometimes they die along the way. But when I was a uh, teacher's aide in a school, I did, like I said earlier at the video, have a classroom that did this and so we got to watch them and for a kid the middle part is boring because you're like today is it a butterfly no it's 
still a thing just hanging there. Next day. Today is it? A no, seriously, it takes a long time. So depending on the type of caterpillar and butterfly, it can take a few weeks into many weeks. Okay, it doesn't happen in two days. It takes them longer. Because if you think about it, they're changing from a wormy kind of thing to a bird kind of thing. That's a pretty big change, right? From a caterpillar to a butterfly, it takes them a while. Now, like I said, it is expensive to buy the kits and they don't always work. It can be hard to do. You would definitely, if you get one of those kits, needs a grown-up help. But you can go online on YouTube and find videos of this. And here's, remember how I said the boring part can be long in the middle, right? The videos cut out that middle time and so you can see it much faster. So you see the caterpillar and you see it eating and then you see like the little cocoon and it hangs there for a bit and then they cut out a lot of those days so you don't have to wait so long. And then the butterfly comes out. So you can go online, go on YouTube, and look up Caterpillar to Butterfly and see some videos. But if you are lucky enough to find one in real life, definitely tell me because that is super cool. I have never once seen it. I know they're out there, but I don't get to see them. And odds are you won't either. But we do see caterpillars, and I love to see butterflies. And we have a lot of them coming out right now. So... Go outside, see if you see one, see if it flutters by. That's a creature we don't have to worry about social distancing with. We can get close to a butterfly. And so that would be really cool, right? I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned a lot. I hope you go and look up videos to find out about caterpillars and butterflies. Did you know this butterfly looks like this caterpillar and this butterfly? There are different caterpillars for the different kinds of butterflies. And you can look them up online. There's more than one. And some of these caterpillars are crazy looking. You've got to go see it. Let me know what you find on YouTube and other places. Look up the science of caterpillars and butterflies. It's crazy. Bye.